The next part of the question is to calculate the total principal repaid in year 3 using the retrospective method. In order to know the value of the principal repaid in any year, we need to know the value of the loan at this year and the value of the loan of the previous year. Then the difference of these two values is the amount we paid of the loan, which is the principal. If we would like to estimate the total principal repaid in year 3, we would need to estimate the loan outstanding at year 3 and the previous year at year 2. Using the retrospective method formula, the principal repaid in year 3 is equal to the loan outstanding at the end of year 2 minus the loan outstanding at the end of year 3. So the formula of the loan outstanding at the end of year 2 is the single cash flow future value of the loan at the end of year 2 minus the ordinary annuity future value of instalments at the end of year 2 minus the formula of the loan outstanding at the end of year 3, which is a single cash flow future value of the loan at the end of year 3, minus the ordinary annuity future value of instalments at the end of year 3. We have a loan amount of $10,000, a periodic instalment of $2,054.05, the effective annual interest rate of 10%, and the total number of periods is 7 years. And lastly, the number of paid instalments is 3 years. So. Our formula is the principal repaid in year 3 is equal to the open bracket loan amount of $10,000 multiplied by open bracket 1 plus the interest rate of 10% close bracket to the power of a number of paid periods minus one period which is two years minus a periodic installment of $2,054.05 multiplied by open first bracket open second bracket 1 plus the interest rate of 10% close the second bracket, to the power of the number of paid periods minus one period which is two minus one, close the first bracket and divide all by the interest rate of 10% and close the bracket, minus open bracket of the loan amount of $10,000 multiplied by open bracket one plus the interest rate of 10% close bracket to the power of the number of paid periods which is three years minus the periodic installment of $2,054.05 multiplied by, open the first and second bracket, 1 plus the interest rate of 10%, close the second bracket, to the power of the number of paid periods, which is 3 minus 1, close the first bracket, all divided by the interest rate of 10%, close bracket. And this gives us 7,786.48 minus... 6,511.08, which is equal to $1,275.41. Another way to check our answer is to look at the loan amortization schedule. We will find that the principal paid in year 3 is equal to $1,275.41, which is exactly the same as our calculation from the formula.